this was the situation where we stopped our last trading so, and now let's go on to add some more information first of all one line is beautiful more lines are more beautiful so we add first of all the placeholder for the data in this case uh, we declare them as an array directly now we have to fill this array and we decided to do this with some co uh, coding in JavaScript so that you can see how to do this. You can uh, replace this by some uh, JSON codes or whatever you want to do. Okay, to tell the system that you want to see the data now, we have to change this line. And let's save and take a look at what happens right now okay that's it you see the legend changed and we have three lines on maybe you don't want to see lines all the time maybe you want to see points or bars that's also very easy we have to replace this data line by a more sophisticated thing where we see we have the data as before and for each set of data we have a label and what to do with this so for the first set of data we decide to show them as lines second as points and the third as bars with the bar width of 0 0.5 save and one more time you will see okay points are nice but sometimes you want to see points and lines also this is a simple change we only have to replace this line the data 2 line and we add this lines show true and points show true see on the screen what is this okay we see the next problem at least in this chart the legend is located automatically by the system it doesn't know better and it hides the information there so let's move the legend somewhere else and this is the first time that we will get some options in and this is the option we decide the position should be northwest so upper left corner save Good and do it this way it moved here you can see all the lines you can see all the information you see the bars so nice chart isn't it